Good morning, folks. That's the Stromboli Volcano, the latest in a spate of volcanoes to erupt of late. The top thing to watch today comes from our solar telescopes, but it's not yet at the sun. And I don't mean Mercury coming in for solar conjunction there. I mean a sun-diving comet that will meet its end in a few hours, just to the right of the marked position. Folks, we took yet another Earth spots quake as the tropical storm surrounded Hawaii. It's not of major magnitude, but it's big for the region, unusual, and yet another example of the Earth spots hypothesis panning out. Solid article from NASA's Earth Observatory showing the climate extremes. We have had areas breaking heat records in July, breaking cold records, breaking drought and precipitation records. We really are all over the place. The article is linked for you below. Back to the tropics, Heilong just a day away from landfall in Japan. The storm is still quite powerful. Coming back to the central Pacific, Genevieve has a mind of her own out there just wandering about. Meanwhile, Izel and Julio are bearing down. It's the usual last minute chaos before the storm. They've made it through worse down there though. The weather to notice here is the low leaving New Zealand and another convergence hooking over southern Australia from a different Antarctic low no major warnings. In Europe we see a strengthening of the North Atlantic low. Counterclockwise drive is in force over the continent in the south swinging convergence making the storms there along with that northern flow. The low in the Midwest should be extremely easy to spot here. It will creep eastward today and by sunset the flash flood warnings will be in force throughout the area. Rain and thunder possible across a wider area. Let's come back to space weather solar wind around the new day UTC we had a very dense reading with the weaker Sun we've been seeing the bunching of particles more and more lately and this is certainly not an error even without major geomagnetic instability on the KP index the stability of the magnetogram was degraded and the electrons responded as expected to the proton shock we've got sunspots including this beastly growth on the north incoming but still no flaring to speak of. The departing group is still not mixing or producing flares. The central region is in major decay and the incoming group is magnetically separated as well. Remember that negative backside penumbral red does not count. Two coronal holes of note. The southern opening is powerful but exiting while the incomer lacks any real force. It is positive however while the departing southern extension is negative so the near-Earth influence is about to switch over. We got a calm star, folks. Filaments and growing active regions on the disk. Sun diving comet heading in today. Eyes open. No fear. At 6.40 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.